Hello, this is Mike Smith with another tutorial in Maya. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to cut a hole through an object. Now, when you look at a basic poly primitive, almost all of the faces have four edges. That's what we call a quad. Now, the only ones that won't have quads will be like a sphere. If you look at the very top, there are just three edges. Now that's what we call a tri. A cylinder will have the same on the top. A cone and also a pyramid may have tries as well, depending on how many divisions you have. Now, sometimes you can't avoid having tries. But if you're working on an object like a cube, if it has a quad, you need to try and make sure you maintain the quads and I'll show you what happens if you don't and then how to make sure you have still got quads. So to cut a hole, first of all I've got my project folder set, I've got my object in the center of the grid except for Y, I've just lifted it up on top of the grid and I'm going to make a cylinder to cut through that. Make sure your cylinder is long enough to go through the object. I'm going to rotate that to exactly 90 degrees, so type in 90 in your channel box, and then position that so it goes through your object. Make sure it goes through both sides. And make sure it's not half out of the object, it is actually in, not in the center of the face, but it's not actually outside any of the other parts. So, before we can do anything, we need to delete the history of our scene. If you've manipulated any objects, you've extruded, you've deleted some, Maya remembers what you've done. And it's always best to delete the history when you're doing things like this. It won't affect the look of your objects at all, but it can prevent some problems from occurring. So to delete, to delete history, go to edit, delete all by type, and history. Now to cut a basic hole, Simply select the object you want to keep and then shift select the one you want to use to cut the hole. And then go to mesh, booleans, and then difference. And it cuts a hole straight through. Now, that might look fine, but if we look at this face, See if you can see how many edges it has. It's not just the four that's on the edge, it's the four plus the 20 of the edge of our cylinder. So that's got 24 edges. It might look fine here, but if you try and smooth that, it just distorts into a ball of mess. So we need to make sure we follow a few steps to get this right first of all. So I'm going to undo that back to the beginning. I'm now going to change the divisions on my cylinder. I'm going to go down to 8 for this one. And you'll see why I need 8 soon. Now I'm going to put some edge loops on my cube so when I smooth it, it stays as a cube. At the moment, if I smooth it, it goes into a ball. Press 1 to unsmooth and 3 to smooth. Edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, and I'm going to put some divisions on here. Now, if you remember from the previous tutorial, you click, hold the mouse button down, and drag on any edge to put a division. So I'm going to put one basically near all four edges on here, the verticals as well one at the bottom and then rotate round to the side and I'll put two on the side here as well now doing that means when I smooth this object if I go back to object mode my select tool and click on it it stays as a cube Okay. And if you look at any one of these faces, it's still got quads. Every face has four edges. 
this center one is the important one. Now the center one has four, our cylinder has eight. If I was to split this object up, again using the edge loop tool, I'm going to put one roughly in the center. You can be more accurate if you like. If I now go ahead and smooth that, so I go back to your select tool and go back to object mode. Press 3 to smooth it. You can see that this center is split into four parts. And now when I go ahead and actually use this cylinder to cut a hole, I can start trying to maintain all of the quads. So, depends where you want the hole, but if you move the cylinder into the right place, so if I wanted the hole here for example, I need to make sure these edges line up. So I'm going to press 1 to unsmooth that, right click and go to edge mode, double click on this edge to select the entire loop and I'm going to move it up so it lines up with the center of my cylinder here and I'll do the same with this one double click, if I zoom out a bit so you can see, double click so it selects the entire loop and move that so it lines up with your cylinder now we can start cutting the hole so I right click and go back to object mode Delete the history, edit, delete all by type, history, select your cube, shift select the cylinder, one last double check that it goes all the way through, go to mesh, booleans, and then difference, and that's cut a hole. There's a few more steps we need to follow simply because if you smooth it now it's still going to distort but what we can do is start adding some divisions in to make sure these are quads now if we take a look at one of these faces, let's take a look at this one here if we count that we've got one two three four five six edges going around now it's a bit like a brain teaser puzzle on objects like this. You can work out where you can put an edge to try and make sure that stays as quads. And the quickest and simplest way to do this, I find the most accurate way, is to go to Edit Mesh, Interactive Split Tool, and then you'll find when you move the mouse along, it generally snaps to where the vertices should be and it should snap to the center or the halfway point between two vertices on any edge. In this case, if I click on the corner here, I can basically draw a line to anywhere else. And if I draw one to the corner here, click on that, press enter. If you look at these faces now, you've got one, two, three, four, this lower one, one, two, three, four. So they're both quads. And I can do the same for the other ones. Edit Mesh, Interactive Split Tool. Make sure you actually select, if I zoom in a bit more, not the very, very corner of your cube, but the next one in, this one here. Select the one you want, press Enter and we can work our way around so we can do these last two at the bottom edit mesh interactive split tool press enter to confirm that one last time on here if you select the one by mistake like I've done there just click anywhere enter then press Z to undo So take your time, don't rush it. There you go, so we've got all quads on here now. Now you might find, if you smooth that, it still distorts because there's one last thing we have to do. 
If we go to vertex mode, you may find when we cut the hole, if we zoom in, you see here the vertices don't actually join up. Now we need to merge these together. And there's a quick and easy way to see if you have two vertices where it looks like there's one. If I select that, I'm just going to highlight that small area, press 4 to go into wireframe to make sure there's nothing else selected, 5 to go back, and we have on the top left of the screen what we call our poly count. Now if that's not there, it's easy to get up, just go to display, heads up display, and then poly count, and that tells you exactly what you have selected. Now you've got verts, edges and faces. The very last column on the right is what's selected. So that looks like one vertice, but this tells me there's two. To merge them together, go to edit mesh and then merge. Now you'll probably find it's exactly the same on the other ones as well, so I'm going to quickly select those. I'm going to do the whole thing in wireframe so I know I've not selected anything else. Select that, it looks like one. My poly count says it's two, so I'm going to go to Edit Mesh and Merge. Same on the top. Edit Mesh and Merge, and then this left hand side, again it says there's two, so Edit Mesh and Merge. Press 5. And now if you smooth this, you get a much more rounded shape. Obviously it's still a bit distorted because we haven't put an edge loop in there to constrain it and I've not finished the other side yet. Press 1 to go back, back to uh, unsmoothed, and then go to edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, and this time I'm going to put one going around this, so quite close to it, and then when I smooth that, go back to object mode, you select tool, select your object, and then 3 to smooth, you get a hole that goes through that object. It's still not perfect because I've not finished the other side, but if I go ahead and do the other side, I'm just going to repeat the last steps. So. I want to go to Edit Mesh, Interactive Split Tool, and I'll quickly join these up again. Press Enter once you've done it. Again, don't rush. Zoom in if you need to. If you make a mistake, don't panic. Just press Enter and then press Z to undo that. Right click, go back to vertex, wireframe, and if I remember from before, it was the top, the bottom, and then the two sides that need to be merged. Again, my poly count says it's two, so I'll merge them. The top, the bottom, I'll position it so I know I'm not selecting anything else. Edit mesh merge, and then the two sides. It does take a while to get used to looking at a wireframe view. But that's another reason to keep your divisions down to make it much easier. Okay, now like the last side, I'll go to Edit Mesh, Edge Loop Tool, click and drag on any one of these divisions really, they're going from the hole to the edge. And I could even put one on the inside. Do that on the other side too. Then when I smooth that, go back to object mode, my select tool, you get a perfect hole going through your object. If you turn your wireframe off, because it's all quads, everything looks all neat and tidy. Okay, again, keep practicing, keep the object simple, and try and learn something new whenever you can.